क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर इन सॉल्ट यूज इन ए सॉल्ट ब्रिज इज इनर्ट इन नेचर देर फोर ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट सॉल्ट ब्रिज डू नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन द केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑफ द सेल फॉर ऑप्शन बी If we do not use salt breeze instead of salt breeze to neutralize this solution, we use SPM. But if we use SPM, these ions move from anode to cathode or cathode to anode to maintain the electrical neutrality of the solution. So, if we do not use salt breeze, diffusion occurs. So, if we use the salt breeze, it stops the diffusion. so option b is the correct option regarding option c in most of the galvanic cell we use salt breeze but in some type of concentration cell we do not use salt breeze so it is not necessary for a cell to use salt breeze therefore option c is incorrect and option d is quite obvious so correct answer is a and b question number 26 hydrogen bonding plays a central role in the following phenomena first option is ice float in water the density of ice is less than water and this is due to their open cage like structure and the open cage like structure is due to the intermolecular hydrogen bonding in water and it is like this ice has ice has a open open cage like structure and the, there is a number of whites big whites are present in ice and therefore the density of ice is less than water and therefore it floats over water that is option 1 is correct another option higher lewis density of primary amines than tertiary amines in aqueous solution in primary amines in primary amines hydrogen bonding takes place in primary amines hydrogen bonding takes place where in tertiary amine hydrogen bonding does not takes place and due to this hydrogen bonding and due to this hydrogen bonding the basicity of primary in amine is greater than tertiary amine and that is second option is correct another option is formic acid is more acidic than acetic acid it is correct option but is it is not due to hydrogen bonding it is due to the plus i effect of hydrogen and methyl group another option is dimerization of acetic acid in benzene definitely in vapor phase or in benzene acetic acid dimerize like this and this is due to hydrogen bonding and this is due to hydrogen bonding that is option d is also correct therefore Three options are correct. That is A, B, and D. Question number twenty-nine. Since container is is insulated, therefore process must be adiabatic. For adiabatic process, Q equals to zero. Since it is free expansion, so in case of free expansion, work done also equals to zero. using first law of thermodynamics which is delta u equals to q plus w delta u also equals to 0 and for an ideal gas internal energy depends only on temperature and formula is ncv delta t so we can say delta t equals to 0 means temperature remain constant so by this reserves we can say a option is correct b option is also correct and option c is also correct because
process is isothermal so correct answer is a b and c question number 13 the question number 30 is the correct statements for boric acid is are the first option is it behaves as a weak acid in water due to self finalization boric acid does not undergo self finalization in water it it ionized in water in a pattern that is a s3 bo3 converted into boh whole 4 minus plus h plus and it is a weak acid in water by ionized like this that is it does not undergo self finalization that is the first option is incorrect another option is acidity of its aqua solution increases upon addition of ethylene glycol ethylene when ethylene glycol is added to boric acid it does not form a chelate with boric acid and therefore it does not influence the acidity of boric acid another option is it has a three dimensional structure due to hydrogen bonding in solid state due to the hydrogen bonding boric acid is a 2d sheet like structure that is that is like this and so on okay that is c option is also incorrect and the last option is it is a weak electrolyte in water when boric acid is added in water then it ionizes like this but the pka value of boric acid the pka value of boric acid is 9.25 that is it act as a weak acid as well as weak electrolyte in water that is the option d is correct question number 33 universal gas constant equals to boltzmann con constant multiplied by avogadro number here Boltzmann constant equals to 1.380 into 10 to the power minus 23, and Avogadro number equals to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. The number of significant figures for Boltzmann constant is four, and for Avogadro number it is also four. The product of Boltzmann constant and Avogadro number equals to eight. Point three one one seven four, but the number of significant figures in the result cannot be more than the number of significant digits of the terms multiplied. Therefore, the number of significant digits in R must be four, and by for that we have to neglect the remaining two terms. So answer will be. Eight point three one two. So, answer is four. And means there are four significant figures in the universal gas constant. Question number thirty-five. The ratio of observed colligative property upon col theoretical colligative property. Equals to one tau factor, which is one plus n minus one alpha. Here, in this case, n is three and alpha is point five. By solving this, we get two. So, correct answer is 